This video contains excerpts from our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, jump to 9.1.2 or higher, upgrade builds cluster to 9.1.2. This drawing describes how to upgrade the builds cluster to 9.1.2 or higher. Let's start with a quick overview and review. This is an overview of the jump upgrade and virtualization. This drawing looks at upgrading the builds cluster to 9.1.2. Here are the tasks for a jump to 9.1.2 virtualization and upgrade. On day two, a figurative day, we virtualize and upgrade our CUCM cluster. Here are the individual tasks for upgrading the builds cluster to 9.1.2. Upload files to data store, apply COP files, and upgrade to 9.1.2. Here is an overview of the jump lab described in earlier drawings. This drawing looks at activities on the builds cluster collab VLANs. We'll access the builds cluster using the builds jump server. The first thing we need to do is upload the COP refresh upgrade file to the builds jump server. We don't need this file if we are at 8.6 or higher. This patch is needed to prepare the CUCM for the change from RHEL 4 to 5. We need the file ciscocm.refresh underscore upgrade underscore v1.3.cop.sgn because we are doing a refresh upgrade. For CUCM before version 8.6, RHEL4 is used, while from 8.6 up to 9.x, RHEL5 is used. RHEL6 is used for version 10.x. Download the file now. After the file is downloaded, upload the file to the Builds Jump Server shared folder, Builds Jump Files. You will also need to upload the 9.1.2 upgrade media to the data store. You will need to download the ISO image from Cisco.com. Next, we apply COP refresh upgrade file to cluster. We don't need to do this if we are at 8.6 or higher. This patch is needed to prepare the CUCM for the change from RAGL4 to 5. For upgrades from 8.x, you need to rehost your licenses first. The COP refresh upgrade file needs to be applied to all the VMs in the cluster. In the Navigation drop-down box, select Cisco Unified OS Administration and click Go. Log in using Platform and the Platform Administrator password. Navigate to Software Upgrades, Install Upgrade. Provide the software location information and click Next. Use the Builds Jump Server SFTP server. In the Options Upgrades drop-down box, select Cisco CM.refresh underscore upgrade underscore version 1.3.cop.sgn. The file will be downloaded by the CUCM server. Click Next to begin the installation. After a short while, the installation will complete. Now we upgrade to 9.1.2. First attach the ISO image to the VMs. Right click on Builds Pub and select Edit Settings. Select CD DVD Drive 1. Select the Data Store ISO File Radio button and click Browse. Browse to where your ISOs are stored. Use the ISO upgrade image you just uploaded. Select the image and click OK. Check the connected checkbox 
and click OK again. Do this for all the VMs in the cluster. We'll upgrade and reboot the publisher first, then the TFTP server, and then the other subscribers. On the CUCM GUI, navigate back to Software Upgrades, Install Upgrade. In the source drop down box, select DVD CD and set the directory to slash. Click Next. The ISO you just attached to the VM has the installation media. Select it and click Next. You shouldn't have to wait long. Almost there! Select the Switch to New Version After Upgrade radio button. Note the two warnings and click Next. The first warning concerns licensing. You should have installed all your old licenses before now. The second one concerns downtime for a refresh upgrade. We're in a sandbox, so we don't care. Here, the install upgrade has completed successfully. Open a console to the Builds Pub VM. Note the Error Unsupported warning. You'll see this for upgrades from software prior to 8.x. Reboot your publisher using the Utils System Restart command. Cisco recommends upgrading and rebooting dedicated TFTP servers next. TFTPB for our deployment. Then all other subscribers immediately following the TFTP upgrade. Once the upgrades have completed, web browse to the CUCM GUI on Pub and log in. Note the partition alignment error. No production support for this server. Validate replication to make sure everything worked. In the navigation drop down box, select Cisco Unified Reporting and click Go. Navigate to Unified CM Database Status. Click on the Generate Report icon on the right. Under Unified CM Database Status, validate that the Replicate state is good for all nodes in the cluster. If replication is broken, you need to fix it now. We've upgraded the Builds cluster to 9.1.2. Next, we transfer its configuration to the Pre-Production cluster. Coming up next, jump to 9.1.2 or higher, transfer builds configuration to pre-production. Thanks for watching.